Hello, awesome people. I hope your day's going as well as you are. Um, today, I want to take a look at Tonia uh, Brown's short story, Frank and Ernest, which is set in our Weird Weird West collection here uh, uh, that we've been doing a deep dive into the uh, genre. Uh, the Weird West is the combination of horror with old Western uh, settings and tropes, uh, or fantasy, or science fiction, and in some cases, all three. Uh, and so, um, uh, and since this channel cares about reviewing short stories that are in those three genres, combining them with the Old West makes a lot of sense. And so, I've been doing a deep dive in a Weird West. This started when I was watching. Uh, about about two months ago, I started watching the the Wild Wild West from the sixties. It's a four series show. It's a spy uh, and old west setting, uh, and a lot of old west tropes too, as well as a lot of spy tropes. And it also has some science fiction elements and some steampunk elements to it as well, which was a lot of fun. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, and then I watched Legend, and then I watched uh, the UPN show uh, from nineteen ninety five, and then I watched The Adventures of Briscoe County Junior. Uh, from from 93 to 94 uh, from the fox channel show. it's one season about 27 episodes long uh, and then i watched the uh, 1935 a serial that stars gene autry in his first starring role the singing cowboy the phantom empire which was a lot of fun uh, i've also been reading a lot of short stories in 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 this genre as well as comics in in this genre as well uh, i also have a novel in my queue uh, the circus of dr lao from 1935 which was which won a national book uh, award for most unique novel so i wanted to do a deeper dive into the genre after i encountered it uh, I've, I've, and so now we're, we're continuing with that deep dive into the weird west genre with frank and ernest by tonya brown so, here is the paragraph in the bio section about Tony and Brown. Tony is a Southern author with a penchant for Victorian dead things. Her work ranges from steampunk to romance to humor to horror and a healthy mix of these genres. She is the author of Badass Zombie Road Trip and Lucky Stiff from Books of the Dead Press, Sundowners and Skin Trade from Premuda Press, Hauling Ash from Post Hill Press, and the Clockworks and Corsewood series from Kensington Press, as well as the Weird Western web serial Railroad. She lives in the backwoods of North Carolina with her genius husband and an ever-fluctuating number of cats. That's Tonya Brown's uh, uh, bio for you, so that way you get a little bit of chance, because this is the first short story that I've ever read or encountered by uh, Tonya Brown. So there you are, the twenty fifteen in this 2015 Kickstarter collection. It was, it, that was a big uh, hit uh, with fans. So there you are. I'll link you to this in the comments below. Frank and Ernest, it's about 20 pages long. Um, I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to be giving it a 6 out of 10. I really, I thought it was really well well done by Tony Bram. Um, there were uh, some fun stuff that happens. Frank and Ernest are, are two characters that are related. They're cousins, which is, I think, an obviously a double entendre, because Frank and Ernest are also related concepts from as adjectives. So obviously I think there's a, there's a double entendre that's happening there by Tony Bram. Uh, and these two characters are not nice people, they're criminals. Um, and while they are breaking into a private in investigator's office in order to steal things, um, some uh, at, at night, a little girl who has snuck away from her house um, is trying to hire the local detective. They they let her in, and they're pretending like they're friends of this private detective who is taking over for him since he's, he's out of town. And uh, she is telling them that she wants to find the missing Victoria. Uh, and she's trying, trying to pay for them to, to do that. And she's willing to pay a dollar that she had been saving up. And they first thing I think that Victoria is like, maybe, maybe it's her... Uh, uh, a family member like his sister uh, and then who's been missing for a couple of days now uh, but in fact they find out that it's a cat so now they gotta try to track down this cat for for this little girl named Victoria and that's the short story uh, they're gonna try to track down uh, the cat uh, and so forth and, and then figure out what's happening uh, in the town and and so forth and I really enjoyed uh, this short story it's a science fiction uh, Western combination in the uh, weird west genre it has science fiction elements to it uh and that's fun it's it also feels a little bit more like a spyish not because they're playing the roles of spies but because of what they encounter on the uh, science fiction side of thing i also really really enjoyed the final paragraph of this short story after the conclusion 
um, had happened a couple of pages earlier and I thought that that was particularly clever and I really liked what was happening with that and, and it felt like a good setup for some a future level of adventures uh, that that would be a lot of fun so again this I'm giving this a six out of ten it was fun uh, I was never bored I thought the 20 pages was, was a good solid amount of time to invest into Frank and his cousin Ernest and vice and who's who's the leader uh, as well as them being not Frank or Ernest <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, but then I'm taking on the task of trying to find uh, and getting paid for finding this cat that's gone missing uh, from this house. Uh, and then there you are. I'll go ahead. Have you have you read uh, Frank and Ernest by Tony Brown? Have you heard of it? Have you actually read anything else by Tony Brown? Uh, if so, what would you think of it in the comments below? I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. Whatever your thoughts on, on this. If you enjoyed this video, hey, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow and then finally i want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching my video we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions so the fact that you spent this time with me that's incredibly humbling and i appreciate it thanks again and have an amazing day